video number two on how to animate in Z-Depth using multiports and groups. Now, basically a multiport is one of these elements that you find inside a group. Typically, it's something that gets added to a group when you take some elements and you command G or control G, and that basically creates a group. A multiport is basically something that runs the drawing that's in the group to outside the group. And if I, if I just disconnect that and disconnect that, you'll notice that there's no port underneath this group. But when I add my drawing to a port and go outside, I can now run a cable down into a composite. If I zoom out a little bit, and there we go. So it, the, the multi-port is what the drawing gets attached to so that you have a port outside the group. And I'll just delete that group that I created. Okay. Now before I get into actually um, working with the multi-ports, whenever I'm doing anything that I, that's going to require me to modify a scene, I will take the layers and um, duplicate them because I never want to modify the original art in the scene. So let's just take a look at what I mean by that. Here we have a drawing of the lower arm, and any of the parts in the scene have any number of drawings in it, but I can see that this lower arm, and that's going to be the layer that goes behind the body, has only one layer. So I'll start by on my timeline, and I'm just going to get rid of this timeline view toolbar. If I right click in this area here and choose timeline toolbar, you'll notice this toolbar shows up. And the button I want to find is the one called Duplicate Drawing. And I'm going to press that. And now you're going to see that I have two versions of duplicate in this, um, in my, saved into my library. That's the end of video number two. And we will move on to modifying art in the next video.